In this video, I want to walk you through how to add a scholarcy summary into your Notion page so you can get something that looks just like this and also into Zotero so that you can have that information within your reference manager as well. To get started, I'm going to grab down the scholarcy summary for the exact same article I did last week when I walked through how to download the extension and what Scholarcy is and how good it is. If you're interested, you can check out this video above, but that's the same article I'm going to be working with. So this is the article here, and I can just come up to my extensions, and I'm going to go to Scholarcy. And it might take it a minute or two to be able to run its analysis. And then once we can do it, we're going to then download the files we need to put it into Notion and specifically my Notion organization, literature organization template and into Zotero. So it just finished its analysis. Again, if you wanna learn about what all it's going to do, check out um, the video from last week all about how to do that. But what we wanna do right now is we're gonna download two files. We're gonna download the Word and the Markdown. So I'm going to download the Word and it just downloaded. Then I'm going to download the Markdown. So now we have both of those files saved to my computer. And so I can exit out of that and I can leave this. So here is my literature organization template. If you're interested in how I set this up or getting it or anything like that, check out this video above. It walks you through how I set this up and everything like that, including um, how to link it to ResearchRabbit as well. So in here, I'm just going to show you how to be able to add into this. So I just have the name of the paper that I ran this on, and I'm going to click open here. And I'm up here, I'm gonna go ahead and click open in a full page. So now I can see all of this in a full page. So once I have it open, I can come up here and click these three dots. And this is how we're going to import in the summary into here. So I'm just gonna click this import right here and I want to import a text and markdown. So you can see this is the file here. So I just double clicked it and now it's going to import it in. So this just imports in as a linked file. So if we want to be able to just be able to look in here and see the information from the scholarly summary, we can come to these three dots and we're going to say turn into text. And that's going to pull out that file and turn it into text. So now you can see it all here um, as the scholarly summary would be. And you can use some of these things to then copy and paste as tags if you wanted to as well. So in here, topics, you can copy and paste this in and work with it like that. So this is how to get this within your Notion template is you can just paste it in here. You can also take some of these things and put it into the abstract column and things like that, the synopsis column. I can copy the synopsis and I could copy all of this and then put it into the synopsis column. Just come up here and paste. And so now this is within here. And why is that potentially important? So let's look for something that's with a here. Or let's just write something in here. So let's say this came from um, this, but let's just say awesome possum, right? Something that really wouldn't be in a paper. So now what happens if I go back to my literature organization template, and this is why I always say put stuff in a place that is searchable. So if I come over here to search and I search awesome possum, right? There's nothing in here because that's within the page and not within a searchable field. Now, instead, if I come in here, so I'm going to write the same thing in the summary. Now, if I click to search, it's going to pull up this because now it's in a searchable field. So that's one thing that you may want to input in the scholarship summary into the page, but then you may want to take some of that and paste it into some of these different fields, or if you create your own organization template, have some of those fields ready so that it then becomes searchable later on and you're not having to type out all of those words. 
One way to get around that is to use a reference manager or an organization manager that does allow you to search your notes. So in this case, I would recommend using something like Zotero. I have a whole playlist, I'll link it above of how to use Zotero and work with it. Zotero is one of the best reference managers that are free, and it can also let you cite where Notion, you can do a little bit more with it and theme things with it, but you can't cite from Notion, obviously. So I wanna show you how do we get that same information into Zotero as well really quickly. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the article that I was working on, and if you don't know how to import things in here, again, check out the link above. Um, it'll take you to a playlist where I walk you through all the different ways to use Zotero. So when I come to this article, you're gonna see that it has the info here and then there's notes, tags, and related. And so what we wanna do is take the Scholar C synopsis and put it into notes. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click add a note here. And this is going to add in an empty note. And then I can go to my downloads. So then I can go to my downloads and I'm going to open up that Word document. And with that being open, I can now actually just come in and copy all of this. And I'm going to come into my notes and just paste it. So now we have the exact same thing we have in Notion, but now in our Zotero. So let's try the exact same thing. If I come in here, into this note and write awesome possum. I don't know why that's like just a phrase I really like apparently. Then we're gonna come out of it. So you can also see that here, it's going to take whatever this is. So if we want it to be named, we can write scholar C summary. That way, whenever we access it, we know like if we're here, we know which one is our actual scholar C summary. So let's come out of it. I'm going to click on a completely different one. And now I just want to write awesome possum. Again, I wanted to do something that's definitely not going to be in an article. Just so that you can see, it's telling me that it's in this article and specifically in the Scholar C summary. And that's how you can actually use the Scholar C summaries to be able to search and find that article when you don't want to take all the time to read it or create your own summaries from it. If you're still working on trying to figure out your own idea or work through reading a lot of different literature, I recommend downloading my 30-day research jumpstart guide. It's a free gift that just helps you to be able to decide what papers are worth reading and create a plan for how to move along and actually start collecting publishable data. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.